Does your smartphone know you as well as you think? New technology is supposed to unlock some high-end smartphones by recognizing your face, like Apple, obviously. CBS 11's J.D. Miles reporting today, though, from Capel High School, where two students have made a dis uh, surprising discovery that raises a lot of questions about whether the technology works as well as it is supposed to. Apple says the odds of some random person unlocking an iPhone 10 with their face are about a million to one. Two students here recorded video of them doing it, and it's gotten the attention of Apple. Yumeng Kaushik and Swayam Sharma surprised their classmates and themselves when the Capel High School freshmen first realized they could both unlock the same iPhone 10 with their faces. They are friends and look alike, but unrelated. Their discovery is one of only a handful of documented examples that raise concerns about how secure smartphones that have the technology are. The cameras on them send 30,000 infrared dots on a person's face to create a digital map of the user. Tom Cullick is a technology and cybersecurity attorney in DFW. He says there are ways to make the facial recognition work better. The more you use it, the better it is. And once you first set it up, actually test it against other family members. That's actually a nice help because there's certain similarities and features that might exist there. Even though the odds of this happening are supposed to be one in a million, Apple tells us the statistical probability is different for twins and siblings that look like you and among children under the age of 13 because their distinct facial features may not have fully developed. If you're concerned about this, we recommend using a passcode to authenticate. Now, these two boys are 14 and 15. That representative from Apple says they are studying the video. Coming up at 5, we'll hear from those boys and also hear what Apple thinks is causing this. In Capel, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.